Hey everyone, Sir Terma here again, and today is going to be our last video of our Piranha Showcase. And of course, we're going to finish it up with some game against a Yamato. Uh, it's actually funny because I feel like I've run against so many Yamato players on the sim. It feels like one of the most popular decks that people are playing right now. But the fun part about Yamato is that there's so many different variations of Yamato builds, right? I've, I've seen more of like Sky Island package, people that are just playing like uh, like Om and Holy and Shura. Seeing people, obviously like the, the, the Yamato that I showcased was mostly playing the actual Wano Country package. I seen people do like full green. So, you know, even though we keep showcasing all these games against Yamato, it's because a lot of these decks are different and obviously people are wanna people wanna play that champion, the double attack is cool. But yeah, talking about Perona itself, we have posted two other videos with Perona over the last couple of days, including a deck breakdown. So if you haven't been keeping up to date with that, make sure to go back and review that to kind of see why how we ended up with this deck list here. Uh today again, it's gonna be mostly games against Yamato. I think it's like four or five games against her. So hope you enjoy the games gonna be soon. If you do, make sure to like the below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Tomorrow is going to be the start of the last Opio Sits leader, which is Uta. So that's going to be interesting. So hope you subscribe and keep up to date with that one. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going to against Jamato. Uh, I like the early blocker. I like the early blockers because obviously we have to deal with this stupid double attack. That's okay. Yeah, if we can keep ourselves up. If we can keep ourselves at 4 HP, wait, they're playing, okay. All right, all right. So they're playing the, uh, they're playing the Sky Island package. Cool, so it's gonna be an Omen to a Holy next turn. We go like this. Yeah, if, if we keep ourselves at 4 HP, it means that the opponent cannot trigger. But then they probably, I was, cause I was trying to play around the, uh, I was trying to play around the thing, around the, uh, what's it called? Okay, they don't have, okay, they do have a holy anyways. I was trying to play around the, oh, uh, the Wano cards, right? The Wano cards, but it doesn't look like the opponent's still playing that. Um, this can KO that. This can attack this for six if we rest it. That's probably better than trying to attack, eat up a car, right? I think we just go ahead and kill the Mihawk. Yeah, so I think we go here. And I uh, will rest this one. Just that way, if the opponent wants to save the Mihawk, they have to give me two cards instead of just giving me one card to save the Holy. Okay, they choose. Obviously, I don't have it. The problem in this matchup is always going to be Holy, right? Holy means that my blockers don't really mean shit. <laughs> so the Holy Jones is a problem. We have another Ryuma. This Ryuma is going to make it so that we can always... KO like they're holy as well if necessary. Interesting. So they're playing the Sky Island instead of the Wano package. And uh I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so if they attack here, we have to give you the blocker. Opponent could have Gedatsu here. Because of that, I think I just take this. Ohm again. You have another holy? They whiff. Do you have another holy in your hand? Oh, no, they don't have it. They will have played it by now. They will have played it. So we can KO both, right? We can definitely KO both, but then that leaves me with no blockers. If we go Borsalino, we can go seven twice. Yeah, so we can go like this. Go here. Go seven. If the opponent decides to save it, I might just go for the Ryuma. Okay, they don't, so I guess I'll go Borsalino, pass the turn. Still worry about this Hori, but at least if the opponent plays Hori, they can only go to six here. I am at three lives, so any triggers, like, yeah, this is the Hori, like I expected, the opponent takes the life. Uh, you wanna attack this Borsalino for sure, and then you wanna attack me here, but they can only go to six, so I can, oh. Sure. So we go second Borsalino then and just try to kill this Hori. Borsalino is four. So we can go up to 11.
Is that the play? I guess so. Let's force the opponent to give me two cards. I I just want to start eating up their 2k counters. Give me the give me those Satoris, right? Give me the Satoris that I know or the Mihawk that you have in your hand. There's the Satori, and they also give me uh um Hiori. You have a second, yeah. You have a second Holy Jones. Every time they play a Holy Jones, they are taking a life, right? So that is one benefit. We haven't found our Dolphy or our Moira. So we don't have like any big powerful plays. And now, okay, so they're playing the full package. Jeez. If they go the full eight here, I'm going to have to block it. Yeah, if they go the full eight into their thing, I'm going to have to block it. I think we have to let the Ryuma go. I have to block this Yamato, which means that I'm not going to have any way to kill the opponent's cards next turn. Oh, wait. Hmm. We go like this. We take the Holy Jones hit. Unfortunately, nothing useful. <laughs> Another one here. I guess we could technically kill it with Ryuma. I want to play this so bad. So that's two plus four. That's going to be six. I can only go up to nine. I don't think nine is enough to be able to kill this Holy Jones. I have to go at least 10. I have to go at least 10, I think. Force two cards. They gave me two 2Ks last time. Okay, they give it to me again. And then we'll go like this. And we'll go here. Set this up for next turn. The problem is that now, if, if I do get a Dofi there, I can't play it. Because I'm going to be down one down. But I just felt like I could not afford to, to let this, this Hori stay alive. They get another 2K now. We know they have a 2K. They don't care about their life, by the way. I'm pretty sure that if I attack this NL, they just try to save it. We can technically KO the NL, by the way, by going Tashigi into Ryuma. And force the opponent to trash a card from their life. But, like, they really don't care about their life, their cards, right? Okay, so we take this one. That's the Moira. So the Moira lets me get access to... Let's me get access to a Borsalino. Are we going down to zero? <laughs> I'm not crazy enough to go to zero here. No, because I need, I need the space. But the problem is that if I... Let, yeah, I think, I think I go here. I need the space to be able to play Moira. Hmm. I feel like I have to rest this, by the way. Like, that could be a crazy 5k attack. That could be a problem. Because the opponent can also buff it up. Then we go like this. He also, this also lets me play around, around any trigger. We go here. We get the tank cost. And then we go here. We play this. And I think we play the Rosinante, by the way. We play the Rosinante so that we can keep some of these blockers alive. And potentially have another Rosinante blocker. We still have one life, so even if the, if the opponent plays Hori Jones here... We are dying because we don't have enough, to, enough counters. Because if the opponent plays Hori, they can go for 8 here and put 2 down on the NL, go for 9, and also the Hori will be attacking me for 8. That's an interesting version of Yamato, so just go super aggressive with the NLs and the Hori Jones. I like it. Because I have to use so much counter to protect against this double attack every single time. So, if the opponent attacks here, I think we take the Borsalino block. But they should always, if they have Hori, they should always play Hori first, right? They cannot play Amaru. Oh, they're just going to straight up play Satori. So they're going to play Satori. Hmm. They 
They're going to place a Tori. So that they can have an extra attacker for next turn. Right? Okay, yeah. So that, that's exactly what they're going for. They place a Tori here. The problem is that I could... No, there's no way for me to actually get rid of it. Let's attack here. I might have to just play Dopey anyways. But let's let's at least trim down their life. Depending if the opponent gets any triggers here, I might have to do something else. I'm playing with fire. Because again, we're in the position where if the opponent gets Holy Jones, we kind of screwed. Do we ever play Sabo instead of Dofi? Like go Rosinante into Sabo? And take the draw here. I like it. I like it. We can grab this. We'll go here. And go like this. We even get another blocker, but I don't think we're going to play that other blocker. Yeah, there's no way that we can play a fifth blocker, right? <laughs> Like, I think we need to keep the Mora. So then, here is the punish. Amaru and Hori Jones, right? Opponents have one life. So Amaru is, is, is online now. We only... We don't have enough counters because the Sabo didn't get me the counters that I needed to get. Yeah, like, I wanted I wanted the Sabo to give me at least another counter value. Unfortunately, it didn't. So, one life, four blockers. Hori can give it a two. Amaru can get rid of another one. Opponent has one, two, three, four attacks. Opponent goes down to zero life now. That's why taking them to zero didn't matter because opponent's always going to go to zero here. I guess I should have just played the Rocinante, actually. There's the Amaru. Get to the second. Yeah, if I played the Rocinante, I would have been cool. That's eight, eight... So the opponent still hasn't used their Yamato ability. So I think we take this one. And it's a 2k. That's an easy 1k. And, and we win. Because the opponent, we blocked the, we blocked the Hori Jones. And we have the 2k counters here, right? So opponent attacking with this first just ends up messing them up. I know you can put two down here. Because of your leader ability. And then we blocked it with the Rosinante. And then you just lose the game. Alright. So we got there. We knew the opponent had exactly what we said. Right? Hori Jones and Amaru. That's why developing the two blockers. Ended up being okay. Because he left the opponent with only one down to do stuff. Even if we didn't get a 2k counter from life. Looks like we were being okay. Because we also had a 2k counter here. Right? Because we only needed to... We, we take one of these attacks. We block the other one attack. And then we can counter out of those two. So we just go here. And we get there. If the opponent had... I don't know. Triple Amaru. That would have been the only way that they would have potentially won that. Right? So we just go here. Yeah. Opponent... Opponent's... His opponent's talking to me. They, they, they have a second Amaru. They also had the reject. So they could have gone reject, Amaru, Amaru. And that probably was better than going for the Hori. I guess he has one less attack, right? Because you don't have the Hori rush. So having one less attack with the Hori might have been enough to make it so that they actually couldn't do that. Because we have the 10 and the A drop, I'm going to keep this hand. Because I feel like with this deck, you kind of want to get greedy. Uh, we end up having the early blocker as well. So this is great. So we can block this Yamato attack. So I don't want to take I don't want to take these hits too early. Or do I take it? Do I take it early? We know that the opponent is playing like this Sky Island package, right? We know that the opponent is playing this Sky Island package, so they could be playing the Datsu. So taking this hit might actually be better. Hmm. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take the risk. The problem is that Gedatsu can still kill Rosinante because we're only at 2 HP. 
And now we have to be always careful about all these rushers, right? So all these rushers kind of kill us. We could play Sabo next turn. Kedatsu KOs the Rosinante, and then the opponent can attack for five. We can... We can kill the Gadatsu with Ed Strike, but then that leaves me with no blockers. Hmm. That's not what I expected. That is not what I expected. Okay, so this is gonna be an Ohm then. We don't have Ryuma, so Oh, it's a reject. Oh, they got scared of this. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't, didn't expect that. Let's get the 2k counter out of them. And we'll just play Sabo here. Clean up my hand a little bit. I don't think this is a game where we get to play double Dofi. At most, I think we get to play one Dofi. Yeah, so at most, I think we get to play one Dofi. So I think we're we're fine to KO one Dofi out of here. Maybe even one, maybe even one more at two, to be honest. I think we just get rid of one of each. We can play the Kusan with the Mora next turn, get the Kusan back. And having the Kusan on the field does let me potentially rest anything for the Dofi on turn 10. Maybe I should have trashed both Dofis, but I do think... I, I think it's fine. I think we keep the both Dofis. We can play Kusan next turn. We still have two blockers. When it goes for the Onami, we can block that with Sabo, uh, with Rosinante. Oh, that's cute. That's cute, but this is the problem now. This is only five. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> but the opponent forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> that was cute, but the opponent forgot about the Sabo blocker. Yeah, so so we'll go here, grab ourselves the Kusan, grab ourselves nothing else, right? Uh, we can also... Hmm... I guess opponent could, could do the same thing here, right? They could just block with their law. Oh, they're not going to do it? All right, so let's go here. Yeah, let's go here. Let's just take the draw past the turn. If the opponent has the Holy Jones, they can rest both blockers and then attack me for seven. But I think I have enough counters in my hand that I should be okay. With the Kusan, we can make it so that the law is down to, so, uh, to, to less cost. Okay, so they're going to go in now. So yeah, so we just go Dolphin next turn. So we're gonna get a Dolphy value here. No matter how you no matter how you slice this. No matter how you slice this, we should be okay. Uh let's just give them. Let's just give them a 2k here. Do we take the NL hit? Do we take if the opponent goes for life, I take the NL hit. I absolutely do, right? They go for the Sabo. I guess we'll just let the Rosinante die. The Sabo cannot get rested by Amaru. So the opponent is looking to just have this law. Like I can just rest it, right? With my Perona. That's the that's the benefit of having this Kusan the turn before we play Dofi. Opponent takes the life. They hit the trigger. But I think I just go for the law, right? I think I just go for the law. Then we go like this. We go five, we go nine, and we put the opponent in a really tough situation. We have another Dolphy, remember, right? We have another Dolphy here. So I think we just leave this Sabo as is. Am I ever scared of the opponent killing us? Ori Jones and this. I think we do it now. Yeah, I think we do it now. Just take that 2k counter out of them. Because I don't think they have lethal, even if they have the Hori Jones here. Yeah, so Pony's just saying how like... Yeah, opponents just saying how, you know, like their aggression might not be good against us. But I think that's not true. I think they actually have really good advantage against us. It's just a matter of we kind of got this combo off this turn. 
out of this game, we shouldn't be getting this that often, right? Like, this is also kind of more or less high rolling a little bit. Like, A cost into... Yeah, oh, they go for the reject on the Sabo. Yeah, so, I mean, we can go another Dolphy. We can we can just finish the game. Opponent only has one life. Opponent only has one life. Sure. All right, we just go nine. That's going to force three cards. And then we can go, like, as much as we can with the Dolphy or the Perona. If the opponent counters out of this, then we know that the Perona can go through. I guess this could be... Okay, so... Hmm. Let's play it safe. Let's go here. Let's go 10, and then we just play second Dolphy. Could be a trigger, I guess. But I still have enough counters that I don't think I'm scared of it. So I don't think there's any way for us to lose here. Even if the opponent gets a trigger hit here. Yeah, we just go here, here, here. And then even if the opponent... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> the moment that you were able to get that trigger off of life, I wasn't going to go for lethal. If they didn't hit a trigger from the last life, then obviously we would have gone for lethal. But there's no reason for me to rush it. When I have enough counter to counter out of anything that the opponent throws here... They cannot use the Hiori ability because they didn't have a life to actually draw from it. Because the, the part in bowl is a cost, right? So you have to pay the cost for you to be actually be able to use this stuff. Not only that, but we also had two life. So like the opponent would have needed to have Hori Jones first. And then also had enough done to attack with both of these units, which obviously they can't do that, right? So we just go like this. Both of them broke in my life. And we just let Dofi finish the game because... Dofi deserved it. Alright. Let's do it one more time. And this could probably be almost the whole video. Honestly, just against Yamato. I like the Dofi. But the rest of my hand doesn't look great. Yeah, the rest of my hand... My, the, my whole hand didn't look great. Uh, this is nice. Because we can go Rosinante and Baby 5 next turn. Uh, let's not attack into their life. I'm going to go ahead and actually kill their unit, right? So we can go like this. This is going to make it so that the baby five is protected because now the opponent only has one attack into baby five, which is with their leader. And if they're attacking my baby five with the leader, then that means they're not attacking with anything else. Uh, let's just grab it. If I don't grab it now, I'm going to regret it. Now, the opponent knows I have the Dolphy, but after how the last game went, I think they're always going to play around the Dolphy, right? Yeah, so let's just grab it right now, just to be safe. If the opponent plays like Holy and Ohm here, we can go ahead and rest it into Ryuma and still get the draw from Baby 5. If they play anything else that I feel like I don't need to deal with. Yeah, so see, they went after the Baby 5. Um, wow. Do I need to keep this alive? Oh, this is tempting. I'm going to keep it alive. I gotta keep it alive. I think I wanna see another. Yeah, they go for the Ohm. Do you have the Holy? If they have the Holy, it's a little bit of a different story. They don't have the Holy, right? So this is perfect. Because we can go ahead and rest this. We'll draw here. We could go Burgo, get a 2k. I don't know that we need the second Dofi. Like, I feel like that's playing too much, right? That might be playing a little bit too greedy. Screw it. We have Sabo. Because we have the Sabo, I like doing it. Because we have the Sabo, I like doing it. The problem here is that I'm not playing this for like another three turns, right? But we also have this. So if the Dofi ever becomes a back card in my hand, we can always discard it. So I think I'm just going to draw it just to put the opponent into this pressure. They should definitely go for their double attack here if they have the Nami. Like if they have the Nami, this would be so hot. But they might just choose to go after the baby five because she's giving me a lot of value. And that's kind of why I like protecting her. Like she kind of just, yeah, go for it. I respect it. Thank you. There we go. I, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely agree with that. Um, I guess we can go like this. Just kill her. 
We have another one that we can draw from. Or we can go brand new either way. Opponent could have Cody Jones next turn. So I like I like killing this. Opponent hasn't played Momo these past two games, so I don't think they have the Momo, but we're gonna just play this anyways. So uh yeah, we're gonna go like this. Five, six. Like we we probably got oh they got the Nami. That's my mistake. I completely forgot about the Nami, by the way. I completely forgot about the Nami. I had like a million ways to play around that. With the Sabo. Yeah, that was that was on me. That was absolutely on me. Um hmm. Let's give up the second Dopey. We have enough searchers here that we potentially can always get another one. Yeah, how did I forget about Nami? We literally saw the opponent put a trigger in their life with the Hiori. Like, that was just all on me. The only things that he has been playing that are meaningful triggers are obviously this card right here. So, we go here. And we can go... I guess we'll go like this. And go like this. When they place the Ohm. And they have the Holy this time. So they get value. Uh, good thing here is that the Mora can let me kill one of them. This is a 6k, so we want to kill that one. Because the Mora can get me back the Ryuma. And we have one more Dawn. <laughs> second Nami? Do we, do we think the opponent ever has second Nami? No way, right? I think we just take a card out of their hand here. We go like this. Ah, uh, we should have, We forgot to play the Baby 5 first, by the way. Yeah, we needed to do the Baby 5 ability. We go like this. Uh, I guess we'll do it now. We'll do it now and just get the burger. Yeah, we, we if the opponent wants to attack the baby five, be my guess. We only have one blocker, so it's not difficult for the opponent to have Hori Jones here and get through this blocker. And then they have three attacks. We do we did just pick a 2k counter. And remember, if the opponent goes all in with Hori Jones or a nail here, then they get punished by the Dolphin next turn. And they do go for the Hori Jones. So they go for the Hori Jones, um, and now we can play the Dolphy and get value that way. They also lose one life by doing that, right? So I'll let you kill the baby five if you want it. Oh, they went after this? It makes sense. You want to kill the Rosinanta first so that when you attack the Sabo, you're okay. But it's attacking the Sabo for 10. All right. I think... We save it. Holy crap. We save it, right? 11, 13. We save it. We save it. And if the opponent attacks into, into like my leader, we could have also saved her, but the opponent didn't attack into it. So uh yeah, we just go for Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean they know that I had the bet. they know I have one of them, right? They knew I have one of them. Well attack for six. Wait, we, we put we potentially have lethal, right? But again, I don't need to play for it. I can just play it slow because we have Sabo and we have Dofi coming out. Yeah, like, I'm just gonna let the opponent give me all their cards here, and then we just go like this. And, uh, yeah, right? I mean, we can even attack here, to be honest. Opponent at most could have a second Hori Jones, or a second Enel, and neither of them are gonna really do much. We have two life, right? So we can afford to take one hit here, and then next time they just lose the game. Unfortunately for the opponent, they're right. Like, this Dofi has just been blowing them out. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this Dopey has kind of been blowing them out, and that's gonna that's gonna be a little bit of a unfortunate problem for the opponent. Uh, I wonder how they're gonna change their strategy here. Yeah, let's let's let Dofi get the last hit. And then this oh they have double Dofi, huh? Ah sorry, double another 240 Jones in their hand. This is everything I can ask for. The putting did choose to go second. But the Ryuma being able to kill their stuff is so good. It would have been so nice if we had a baby five here so that we could do the same combo we did last game. Where we play baby five in turn one into Rosinante and the search in turn two. He also took a lot of pressure off of us, right? So the triggers that the opponent could have. Nami. Satori, Shura, right? Those are the three triggers. I guess they have the uh, they have the events as well. They have the oh, we get her a little bit too late. They have the events as well. Uh, even though she is a little bit late, we can still play Rosinante into Baby Five, and then next them play Ryuma into the Baby Five search and kind of go from there. When it takes the hit, we'll go here and here, and the turn. We can look for another Rocinante, a 2k counter. There's a lot of things that we can look for there. Uh, we just give you this Rocinante, I think. Or do we block it? I think we just give them this one, right? It's just a 5k attack. They want to play Ohm here. That's why they're doing it that way. And they found the Holy. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So this is a little bit more dicey now. But it has two attacks. I guess let's start here. We have to grab the second baby five. We'll rest this dude here. And uh, we'll KO it. Okay, surely the opponent never gets Nami here, right? I don't have a lot of counters, so if the opponent... Okay, opponent is up countering. They gave me a second holy. That's weird, because if you have a second ohm in your hand, keeping that holy in your hand is so important. Why can I what can I infer from that? The fact that they gave me holy, does that mean that you don't have any better 1k counter to give me? You don't have enough for Hori Jones just yet, so I know you cannot rest this Rosinante. The second Ryuma is gonna punish the holy. Or whatever. Actually, I guess whatever else you play, we can just kill it with Ryuma. Oh, they're just gonna reject the, the Rosinante. Oof. Jeez. Okay. Alright, alright. I Respect it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to give them both. Or do I just take it? Am I in a position where I can take this? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I don't have blockers, so it is kind of scary. Yeah, I don't have blockers. And it's not like the opponent really did anything meaningful here right like we can go ryuma and i guess we'll go seven and seven yeah we'll go seven here see if the opponent hits a trigger we do have a lot of uh well honestly okay maybe we actually maybe we actually go ahead and play the baby five right yeah we'll go like this attack the shura Ryuma this dude, play baby five, find the Rosinante. I don't know that the Rosinante is doing much for us. It's too easy for the opponent to get rid of that blocker. Like at this point, opponent should be going for Enel and Holy Jones, right? I have two life. They could also just go all in here and take the last two life. I don't hate that either if I'm them. In my side, I'm looking to try to find Lethal. That's why I was thinking maybe playing... Yeah, I, I think I actually should have kept the Baby 5 in my hand. Because I could have just gone for 7 into the into the Yamato, gotten them down to 1 life. But I guess if they're playing Hori Jones, they're also taking themselves down to 1 life. So they should not be playing Hori Jones until their second reject. Wow. Okay. At least they're not using the regen into my life, right? So that's a plus sign. 
It also means that they don't have any units here that they're developing. They choose to go after the Ryuma. If I counter here, I'm left with a 2k, a 1k, and a 3k counter. Let's counter this. I'm trying to I was trying to determine if I was gonna die to uh Okay, we have another Rosinante. I was trying to think if I'm gonna die to uh the problem is that the Rosinante does nothing against Hori Jones, right? Yeah, the Rosinante does nothing into Hori Jones, so I guess we'll go seven. I was trying to think if I was gonna die to a Hori Jones, right? Because the opponent can attack here for seven. But because we can go to 10, like if the opponent plays Hori, that's seven done, they can go up to eight and we can counter out of the eight with these two cards. So I think we go ahead and go 8K here, play double Rosinante blocker. And because we have this and this, we should be able to counter out, even if the opponent tries to go double attack and then Hori Jones for the lethal. This is forcing two 2K counters, Three cards. So Pony had to give me three cards here. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and develop these blockers. They have to Hori Jones. And if they Hori Jones, the blockers are staying alive. Because the opponent's gonna Hori Jones to try to well, and if they Hori Jones, they also go down to zero life. Which means that I can just attack for 15 that stun and win the game. So they're in a really hard situation here, because if they Hori Jones and they don't kill us here. They lose because they'll be a zero. If they go double Amaru, they're only pushing the two life that I already have that, that I just take, right? You're not pushing lethal. It's not even that. Hmm. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Ha! Huh. Hmm. Huh. It's just... We just go like this, right? And then we go Dolphy. And we're okay. I guess before we go Dolphy, let's go, uh... Let's go Sits. Five and then we play Dolphy. Opponent and Mosk will have another NL or yeah, third game in a row. I'm sorry. You know exactly what's coming. We're gonna have Dolphy and we're still gonna have the Rosinante blocker. Opponent had to give me two cards there, and we still punish you. And that's the game. Cause you have not you don't have enough pressure, and now you're down to just two cards in your hand. Yeah. I have been keeping it every time. Yeah, you saw me, right? Like I, I kind of kept the Dolphy for that reason. I searched for it last last game. The game before that, we got like that perfect combo of Mora into into Doflamingo and the Kusan. Uh, unfortunately, the opponent is like a little bit too aggressive, right? Like the opponent's deck is a little bit too aggressive. But yeah, I mean, this is. This is kind of an example here of how Perona goes against this deck with this wall of blockers. So In GG. this match, we're going against Yamato. So um, that's a lot of A drops. <laughs> that's a lot of A drops. I don't know that I need. Uh, and, uh, and then we get A drops and 10 drops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. We're going to take a ton of damage here, right? We're going to take that double attack. We only have two 2k counter, uh, two 1k counters, so it's not like we can do anything. Oh, opponent, yeah, but like, oh my goodness, you would get so punished if I had anything else here. But of course I don't, right? I don't have anything else, so you get rewarded for it. Um, Sure, let's go like this. Let's go here, search. What is going on? I guess we'll grab another one and search again. Oh, where's my, where's my Rocinante? I mean, we have a lot of cards, so, so that's not bad. 
Uh, the the Yamats is just gonna run through us though, right? If the opponent goes for 10, I guess we have enough now. We can go 9. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, so that's easy. Because we can get rid of the ban. We can just counter. Counter. And uh, we'll have the Savo Blocker. So we'll play the Savo Blocker so that we're not getting... We're not getting hit by a second banish, and he also kind of lets us get more uh, more counter for our hand. Uh, the opponent can just play Hody Jones next turn, but for them to play Hody Jones, they still need to kind of do some stuff. So we'll go here first. Okay. Uh, let's search first, right? Let's search first. We'll grab the Sur... Oh, wait, no, it's uh, Rosinante, remember. We'll grab the... Uh, here. I was thinking of uh, I was thinking of brand new, so we'll go here. That that should also help me fix my hand a little bit. We'll go like this. Um. Hmm. What's the play? I don't know that we get to play both the flamingos, or even the Ryuma at this point. To be honest, not only that, but we can always play Ryuma with the Mora. So I think we discard the Ryuma and the Dofi have the blockers we can play another blocker yeah when he's going for nine here or oh, eight right then we can just go 2k 1k we're not gonna need the third baby five we might need the brand new but i guess we'll see when goes to kiku so we can rest the okiku the opponent gets to heal back up and we get to just play gecko Yeah, so we go like this. Um, I guess let's go five first. We should probably attack first, by the way. We should have attacked first, because there you go. Oh. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's not an issue then. All right, so we can go like this. Right? Do we, I, I feel like we do want this more, right? Again, the Ryuma can KO the Okiku. And then we have Dofi for next turn. Yeah, we'll go like this. We'll play this here. The opponent gets to heal, and uh, we pass. We have one blocker, which I guess the opponent could have Hori Jones here. But if they play Hori, they can only go to seven, and we can counter out of the seven with uh, whoever wins this war. And now we have these attacks that are going to be ready to... Not only that, but if the opponent plays Hori Jones, then it means that I can definitely get full value from this Dofi. And then the opponent's going to be very sad. I, I think we might be stabilized. We might be stabilized. Uh, I guess I, I have to think about how the opponent can get rid of the Sabo. They have to rest it. And the ways for them to rest it are going to be like Hori Jones, right? So they go for 9... I mean, I just do the same thing again, right? Force you to attack this, Sabo. And if you attack the Sabo, again, we can always go for uh, the Flamingo. Next turn. If you don't attack, if you attack into my life with the Nirashi, I'm okay with that. Because it's not a double attack. There's no reason for you to discard a car here, because all you're going to kill is going to be the baby five. You're not killing anything else. It's, 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 I mean, I see what the opponent is doing by playing in Rashi, because they get another trigger card compared, uh, with the Okiku and the Nekomamushi. I just don't like it. I guess the opponent could have a Nami to KO my Sabo. So that's one reason to be scared if we attack into them. What I'm thinking is that we attack into them first. And if the opponent gets a trigger like Okiku, we can always rest it with the Perona and play the Flamingo, right? Like, I think that seems reasonable to me. Okay, so now that the opponent played the Inurashi, you, you, you go for the Sabo, right? Okay, they actually did KO the one of the huh. Alright, so yeah, this would have been better. Hmm. 
Do we actually need to play Duffy here? Or can we just play like double Sabo? I guess let's go here first. See if the opponent gives me a card. I might honestly not be opposed to... Okay, well, I guess let's go here. Okay. And we go like this. Okay, so I like I, li I like the I like the uh well okay now I like the Dofi again. Now I like the Dofi again, just so that I can uh have two less units attacking me and I don't have to worry about the Yamato double attack. So I don't have to worry about the Yamato double attack, and then next then I have a 10k and a and a and a 9k attacking and i can always play the sabo the problem with the sabo again is that the opponent will have access to hori jones potentially yeah opponent has access to potentially hori jones i guess i should just instead of going after the inurashi no i, I think we i think we should, i think it was correct to kill that inurashi first just to kind of see what the opponent does I'm okay that I didn't get full value with the Dofi. We still should be able to clear their board completely. Amaru doesn't stop the Sabo. It has to be Brija or an Onami. I mean, on, an, 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 Onami from the top of their life, but that didn't happen, right? So, it has to be a Brija. Yeah, we have a ton of blockers here. We don't have to play double Sabo. We can just go Rosinante and Sabo. And that leaves me with three down to play with. Any trigger blocker that they have? Yeah, no problem. The opponent says the opponent say they're thinking. Um, the only blocker that's a problem is Momonosuke, right? Cody Jones is cool, but again, it's not killing us. If the opponent somehow kills Ryuma, oh, it's just gonna be Soro. So because he's Soro, this is telling me I need to just finish. Well, the opponent has six cards. Hmm. The opponent made sure that I wouldn't be able to. I think we go nine first. Okay, so. Blocker, blocker. If the opponent has Jody Jones, the blockers are not going to matter. I think we go nine first. Okay. I think we have to go Polito. I don't think we survived the Sorrow. So because the opponent took the nine, we can go 15, 10, 14, 11. I guess 12 and 13, right? We can go 12 and 13. 2k7, 2k9, 2k11, 2k13. So, I mean, I'm just going to say that the opponent doesn't have enough, right? Uh, it's also, I can still play. Oh, my goodness. You're going to bait me into doing this. I guess I will. I guess I have to go all in. I'm too scared of the Hori Jones to not do this. I'm too scared of the Hori Jones to not do this. The moment that the opponent took that 9, so they have this. They can go to 11. They got it. Ah, they got it. All right. No, GG's. I was too scared of the Hori Jones. If it's not for Hori, can I survive this? I think I could have, right? Double Sabo block. I mean, not even double Sabo. Like, I could clear the Inurashi. Right? I killed the Inurashi. Yeah, I could have lived. I could have lived. Wow. All right. No, that's cool. That's great. Because I could clear the Inurashi. Play Sabo. Play Sabo. I still take, like, two life from them. And then kind of go from there. So, no. I went for it. And the opponent just didn't have it. Right? Op opponent didn't have the Holy Jones like I expected them to. They did have enough counters here, so so go from there. Let's get the rematch, I guess.
go let's get the rematch we'll have the, we have the two saddle blockers there again it's just a little bit unfortunate that okay we keep this hand we have the brand new i was scared of the hoodie because if the opponent has hoodie i always lose there <sighs> maybe i should have played around it though ah we whiff it's a incorrect to play around hoodie there I don't know, because I mean they had the Soro set up. They had they played the Soro, right? It's like they were setting up for the Hori Jones. So I feel like it would have been a lot worse. I don't know. Man, I don't know. That's 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 a rough one. That is a rough one. Um yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it for now. Unfortunately, it didn't have anything that I could do. We'll go for five. If they take it and they get a trigger, then I'm sad. Nope, they don't get it. So we'll go here. Pass. We do have multiple tank cards this time around. Um, so we can stall out the Yamato longer. The tank cards wouldn't have helped us that turn that game because the opponent had the Sorrow, right? So because the opponent had the Sorrow, it didn't really matter. Uh, do I take the block here? I guess I do, right? I guess we just go like this. Okay, so they're gonna okay, so they're gonna put the right trigger where they need to be now. So they're putting the trigger where they need to be. So if I attack into them, I'm just enabling that trigger. Uh we're gonna go here first. Let's make sure we kill this. Do I want to enable that trigger? Do I want to enable that trigger right now? That's the question. We do have... Okay, in case that is a Nami, I think we go here, right? Just in case, because this could technically be a Nami. This could technically be a Nami, so I think I go here. Because the opponent might have decided to put the Nami there. Oh no, it's just it's just an echo. Alright, so it's just an echo. He can attack my active characters. But I don't think that really matters. I mean you it means like they still have to spend one attack on one of my blockers. And whichever if they kill the Borsalino, then we can bring it back next turn with the Moira. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I can go ahead and throw the Rosinante away here. Or I can just pick up the brand new from the discard. Hmm. Oh, they rest one blocker. They can attack. They will have to spend two down though here to kill to to try to attack into the sap. Oh no, but they have the uh... yeah. So that's pretty smart because they get the oh, but you did it too short. So the problem here is that the sabo still survives, so I still get to block the Yamato with the sabo. By doing it that way though, oh, they went after the Borsalino. Okay, so that's even perf. That's even better. Because, again, we can bring back the Borsalino here with the Gecko Moira. So we bring back the Borsalino. Let's go here first. Opponent should keep this alive. Like, opponent should definitely be looking to keep this alive. Yeah, there we go. So we go here. We'll play this guy. And uh, I guess we'll play the Rocinante, right? It makes the most sense. Because if the opponent attacks one of my blockers with Neko, I can actually just sacrifice the Rocinante and I still keep the blocker alive. I'm still losing to Hori Jones here. Because I have no counter. And the opponent can rest both blockers. But I don't think I can afford to play around that. Unfortunately, the opponent's playing started at 13. I'm here trying to play Opio Sits, man. I'm trying to play Opio Sits. What are you doing? If the opponent attacks with everything, then this is an easy Doflamingo, right? Like, super easy, Dofi. Yeah, so see what happens here? They attack one of my blockers. I say, okay. They have to have another way to rest the Sabo here. 
otherwise we're still okay, right? I just need to survive this double attack. Onami, so they go for the banish. Yeah, so we go here and we use this and now the opponent is going to have to attack into the Sabo with the Ace. And they go for it. But because the opponent gave me three cards here, this is an easy... Yeah, we'll... We'll go here first. I guess I'm letting the opponent the chance of getting like a trigger. Um, let's go here. Let's kill the Onami. All right, if the opponent gets a trigger here, they only have one attacker, potentially two with the ace. But this is too easy of a, of a Dolphy to pass up, right? We'll just go like this, and then next an opponent only has one life. We have Dolphy again, so we can do the same thing one more time while still attacking with a 9k, a 5k, uh, 5k, 9, and 10. So this time around, it's like, whatever, you know, like, we are two life, your units are rested, we have the double Dolphy. Ah, uh, I can't believe, I st I'm still not over the first game, right? I'm still not over the first game. It was very well played, though. But I'm so you. I've been having because you know I played Yamato myself, and in my Yamato list I play Hori. You saw me all playing Hori Jones in the past three days. So I'm so I have I have this seven cards Hori Jones stuck in my head, right? And and that's what's kind of like making me second out everything. Yeah, we're trying to do some OPO sets. Unfortunately, with this Ace, by the way, because the Sim was updated. Now the now people can actually play uh like EBO1 and also OPO7 cards, and that's kind of what makes it a little bit more difficult here. Uh so the great thing here, by the way, is that we can still attack like this for five, for nine, and for ten. And even if the opponent triggers this Neko trigger, we can rest it with Perona and go back to a second Dolphy. So we'll go five here. See if the opponent if the opponent gives me the Momonosuke blocker, I'm also down to just try to kill their Momo instead. Nope. Alright. We'll go for nine. You know what I have, right? We both know that I have the second Dolphy. That's why I'm not even bothering with your units. Um You're gonna have to give me some stuff here. I guess opponent can choose... No, there's no way that they can beat us. I guess if they have a second rush ace, they could get there. I still don't have any counters, right? Yeah, so then we go like this. Rest this. Play the second Dolphy. Boom, boom, boom. And next time we just win. This Dolphy is just so good. Like, because they, they're relying on this stuff, right? To, to get their double attacks. Uh, a little bit unfortunate, right? That we didn't have any counter in our hand. They could have two blockers, potentially three, if they play double Momo. But they can only heal one life with the Momonosuke. So, yeah. So, I think they don't have it. There you go. They, they This time around, they had the Hori, right? Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games against Yamato. Uh, it was... I mean, they were cool. They were cool, right? There's, there's some things there that I think could have been done a little bit differently by their opponents. But for the most part... It kind of showcases how a lot of these Yamato games are going to go, right? So I think that was very cool. Uh, we have to see different ways to kind of go through their, their stuff, being able to rest and clear their board and just hide behind this wall of blockers, even to play around stuff like Holy Jones, right? As long as we were able to protect ourselves against those crazy double attacks, then we were going to be okay. But anyways, that's going to be it for our showcase of Perona. Uh, that's our fifth Opio Sets leader that we're going to showcase, which you know what that means. There's one left. There's one left. And it's Uta. Red, purple, Uta. I feel like I have not really seen much gameplay videos of red, purple, Uta at all. So I'm kind of excited to try her out starting tomorrow and kind of see how that goes. If you want to keep up to date with how that goes, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day and I'll see you all again tomorrow.